that if this is not the Super Bowl, this is not, you know, a regular season game. This is not a Hall of Fame induction. This is the Pro Bowl that really 95% of the NFL fans don't give a care about. I mean, and the I, only I, people that are, are mad that, weren't going to watch in the first place. And, and, you know, and I've seen, I've seen petitions about, you know, don't buy anything from the NFL. They're petitioning the city of Orlando because that's where the Pro Bowl is. I'm is like, it in Orlando this year? Yeah, that's where it's at this year. And, you know, I, I'm thinking, yeah, because it's, it's at the old Orange Bowl. In, or I'm sorry, it's not the mm. old Orange Bowl, Citrus Bowl, excuse me. Um, okay. It's, it's not where UCF plays because I have a funny, because I would hate, even though, I'm not a Knights fan. I sure would hate for them to have to be, if they were playing a bowl game in the bounce house and they're, you know, telling you to petition against going there because that's not going to look good on the university. Excuse me, that's not going to look good right. on the university. And like I said, I would hate for them to have a black eye when and they have nothing to do with this. I mean, they don't have yeah, yeah. If, if it was there, you know, the pro board said, oh, we're going to play in a college stadium. Okay, well, just make sure, you know, so I'm going to talk about the Michael Vick thing later. I just wanted to get your opinion on what you thought about I, it. I'm sorry, I, I don't have an opinion on it because I don't care about the Pro Bowl. You know, okay. I, I'm not, I, I don't sign petitions. I don't, I, I agree he did his time, but you don't have to like him or anything. But no. for me, it's kind of whatever. Right. Again, I think it's much to do about nothing. Don't watch. Don't buy the merch. Don't participate. Throw your protest signs out there, and mm-hmm. I'm just going to be over here, you know, drinking beer and not caring either way. Well, like I said, you know, we don't – I mean, the, the Pro Bowl is not uh, – The Pro Bowl is a joke. Let, let's yeah. be, let's be, let me not mince words here. The Pro Bowl is a joke. No, it doesn't matter because, because it's, it's a seven-on-seven seven mm-hmm. drill – because nobody wants to get hurt in an exhibition game that complete it's, it's completely meaningless. It's not like it's not like the the preseason where they're meaningless exposition ex, ex, exhibition games expedition um and games, but where people can actually earn a job or are playing looking or, or can earn playing time. These guys, right. the guys in the Pro Bowl, they're not playing for playing. They're not. They don't have any reason to go out there and play. There's no pride on the line. Yeah, it doesn't true. matter. It doesn't matter. The only thing you were doing is trying not – you play 60 minutes of not to get hurt football. Right. Correct. Uh, and I guess so, I'm gonna that, and I'm going to write an article later tomorrow about it. So I, I, I look forward to reading your article. Tag me in that. I will do that. But, yeah, as soon as it's up – I appreciate that. It, it should be up. I think it's going to go up Sunday morning. So as soon as it goes okay. up, I'll go ahead and tag you, and then that way you can read it. I appreciate that. I'll, I'll check that out. Um, uh, Real quick before um, – going back to the hinge thing, and I got one more thing I want to get into real quick okay. before before uh, I get off here. Uh, okay. Honestly, I'm, I'm completely okay with, with it being a thorough and complete investigation. Okay. Because if he didn't – I don't want to throw him – I don't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater. Because if he didn't do anything wrong, then he doesn't deserve to be punished. True, If they True. didn't do anything okay. wrong – Right. And I know, I know, I sound very harsh and very mean and very mean spirit. It's, it's not, but it's, it's all about the integrity of the game. You know, right. if, if they're, if they're violating the integrity of the game and, and they're getting an advantage that is unfair, then they mm-hmm. deserve to be punished. But if right. they didn't do, if they didn't break the rules, if they didn't violate the spirit of the game, <laughs> then I'd say, sour grapes, play ball. Yeah, then we'll see them uh, back to their normal. Um, normal cells come, you know, the spring, come April, yep. when the season kicks off and, and all that stuff. I mean, there's been, I mean, the cool part about what's going on right now is all the sign, you know, all the, like I said, I'll get into oh, that yeah. later, with all the sign, yeah. the players that sign new contracts, whether they're staying, they're going. Um, so I'm, I'm going to get into that later on. But so what was the other thing you wanted to talk about? Uh, I know you're, you're a bit of a boxing fan. I am. Um, I, I, I do enjoy the pugilism. I'm more of a boxing fan than a UFC fan, but I, I, have, dabbled in the, yeah. I, I have dabbled in the mixed martial arts from time to time. If there's a good fight on, I'll, I'll check it out. Um, mm-hmm. What do you think about – I uh, 
I was surprised uh, that that um, Wilder and and Fury signed a, a a rematch so soon after Wilder's last fight. They're gonna fight in in February. Were you shocked by that? Because I was caught off guard. Ooh, I was not expecting. Quick. Well, that's quick, dude. I mean, that's a quick turnaround. Cause didn't Wilder just knock him out just recently? What wasn't that? Uh, back in June, I think it was, and he had a fight at the end of the at the end. Uh, Wilder fought Ortiz at the I end did. of. Uh, at the end of um, uh, November there, so I was I was a little surprised by that. Yeah, that is really surprising. How because usually boxing they don't they usually yeah you have it's like to six fight months at least or six months out of the ring before you can fight again. So right? I think I thought that they were fighting in in uh, February and January or February. I was surprised. And you said Wilder uh, versus Fury, right? Yeah, Wilder versus Fury too. All right, let's see what this says here. Yeah, you're gonna look that up real quick. I I don't mind. Well, you're looking that up. I'm I'm gonna say that uh, there that Wilder wouldn't beat wouldn't beat Tyson in his prime. No, no, not at no. I I agree with you on that. It looks like to me, but according to Google, that they fought on December first of 2018, which that oh, would have okay. been a year. So that. Now, if they're fighting again in February, then that's, you know, that would be fine. But it looks like their fight was in the Staples Center in Los Angeles uh, on December 1st of last year. So they will be waiting. It'll be a little bit more over a year if that fight has been announced already. I don't see anything on here that it's been announced. I do know, I mean, I've been watching a little Showtime boxing. Um, see, that's the whole thing now is, you know, when, when you were, we're boxing fans, you know, we had, the Ali, we had Ali, you know, then we moved into, uh, you know, uh, Hearns and Hagler and Sugar Ray and all them. And then you have Tyson and Riddick Bowe and all of them and Vander Holyfield. Now it, it seems like the, the littler guys are the ones who are the main showcase in boxing. It's not the heavyweights. But while there's not a bad boxer either, it's just in that, in that, in that weight class, it's just like, the, like the commercial said on Fox, it only takes one punch. To knock you out, and then that's it, and then the match, you know, the, the match could be over. So that's how scary, yeah. you know, that's, that's that's just how scary that could be. But speaking of boxing, did you see that one of the boxers is in the hospital? Uh, yeah, speed. in the hospital, he's not yeah, doing very well. So yeah, I hope he can pull through. Yeah, prayers out to him. Um, but yeah, but is there anything else you want to get get to? Before yeah, I, I found it. I found it. Wilder and Fury, February twenty second. Oh, okay, okay, all right. So then that'll be the same in, in Los Angeles. Is it at the Staples Center again? It is. It is. Okay, so they're fighting. Okay, so they're fighting in the same. Oh no, wait. Same venue. No, no, I'm sorry. That was the first venue. I misread it. The rematch has been confirmed for Vegas, but the uh, the location has not been revealed. The MGM is is uh the um the leading favorite right now i was gonna say if they're gonna fight in vegas nine times out of ten they'll get the mgm grant okay yeah I, yeah I, I i'm looking forward to that fight that should be a good one i was watching i watched the uh the wilder ortiz fight and that's i had ortiz winning winning the fight before before wilder knocked him out yeah uh, i thought that i i thought that wilder got I don't want to say lucky as in like it was dumb luck, but it was mm-hmm. it was lucky in in a way, in the way that you know it was it was good fortune that right. Ortiz couldn't answer the bell because right. even if, if because the way I had it I had it six nothing going into the seventh I thought I thought Wilder fought too conservatively I thought that Ortiz had really dominated the scorecard and I mm-hmm. I really was surprised at how slow Wilder was. He looked slow. Yeah. And even even at fifty, Mike Tyson would have rocked his world. It was yeah. it was and then people are trying Wilder's out there talking junk saying that he'd beat Mike Tyson. I'm like, you would not beat Iron Mike Tyson in nineteen eighty four. If we no. took twenty nineteen Deontay Wilder, transported him to nineteen eighty four, Tyson would knock him out in the first round. Tyson is the baddest man to have ever put on a pair of boxing gloves. Right, right. If it wasn't for Don King getting a hold of him, he probably would. He probably would have surpassed uh, Ali in terms of the greatest yeah. boxer of all time. Probably, I agree with you on that one. 
I agree with you. Yeah. I'm, you know, I got, I, 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 growing up as a shorter dude, I don't know how exactly how tall, how big you are, but I'm five, uh, five, six, one forty. Ring the bell. I don't know if you watch the Dan Patrick show or not. I do. But, uh, ding. Ding. <laughs> right, right. Uh, so I do, I do enjoy the smaller guys, the, uh, quicker guys like, uh, Hearns and Hagler and, uh, uh my favorite my favorite fighter of all time, bar none, hands down, is Manny Pacquiao. Ooh, good one. Okay. Manny's I love a- Manny. Manny's still there. He's still fighting. Still fighting. Yep. The fighting uh, fighting senator now. He but got he- robbed in, what, yeah. 2017, 2016? I watched that fight on ESPN. I know exactly what fight you're talking about. I yeah, know exactly. yeah, I think that was an, it was an outdoor fight in Vegas, and I can't remember who he was fighting. He absolutely got jobbed. He got yep. completely job. I want I, I, I want to say, but too, you can look it up. I could be wrong. I think he's got a fight coming up. I think he's Does scheduled he really? to fight again. Now I know they're rumoring him and Mayweather again. The problem now is these guys are past their prime. And do you really want to see that fight again? Because the first one wasn't that great because it was past their prime. You know, the yeah. first fight happened way before the, the way before it, it it shouldn't have taken that long and a lot of people will say that you know mayweather was dodging him because he knew he couldn't beat him who knows because it may you know who knows mayweather's you know the thing about mayweather is he's fast, he's fast yeah runs. so he's got fast feet quick and feet. Quick, quick 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 and you know so who knows what would have happened I mean, yeah, no, because that fight never happened until no, I, I still they were already past their front. I was thoroughly impressed with Manny's flash fight against Thurman. Everybody said, "Watch out for Thurman." Thurman's the uh, you know up and coming young star, and and Pacquiao won. <laughs> yes, yes, he did. So his next his next fight is scheduled for July of this year. I thought so. See, I thought I thought that he was. I had I hadn't heard that the the um the opponent hasn't been announced and you know I gotta respect I got I got mad respect for him for still doing it twenty you know some twenty five years later from mm-hmm. you know when he was just a scrawny sixteen year old coming out of the Philippines you know I don't know if you know his story or not but it's it's a pretty incredible story. I yes I do but I watched uh, I watched a back uh when I a documentary about him yes. Yeah, I do know his story. Yep. Yeah, I don't get. I mean, I don't talk a lot of boxing on this show, so I thought I'd I'd talk a little boxing with you because I I love boxing. Well, I you know I think what I got to do, Bud, too, is I gotta I gotta bring boxing into this a little bit. I don't talk any hardly any NBA, even though I'm not a big NBA fan. I gotta start talking some NBA. Soccer has to start making an appearance soon. I got to start talking some NASCAR, even though I'm not really in the NASCAR world. But I got to start getting every sport involved on the show. I can be. I can oh, yeah. I'm more than happy to be your resident NASCAR expert. Okay. I, the only thing I know is that the sport starts in the state of Florida and ends in the state of Florida. And that's about all I know. And mm-hmm. I, know I, know this. I do know this. This is the last year that Jimmy Johnson's going to run. I do know. Yeah, that. I'm. I'm. I do know. I'm so, planning on. I'm planning on getting. I'm try. I'm planning on trying to get tickets for the Atlanta race. Okay. Um, probably in the fall. I'm. I'm. I want to go see him run one more time. I've. I've seen him. I saw him in '09 at Michigan. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'd like to see him one last time before he calls it a career. Yeah, well, just like everything else, I mean, you know, I know that they don't get banged against the board or they don't get tackled or whatever else, but, you know, sitting in that car for four hours sweating for, you know, 10, 15 years, that wears on your body, too, as much as anything else does. And you get in a wreck, your car flips over, you break things. I mean, so, you know, I mean, a lot of people will tell them. It's an incredibly. They they are. They are in the industry. It's an incredibly demanding uh, uh, exertion. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, I I understand people that don't want to call it a sport because you're just sitting around driving. But right. to me, it is a sport. You know, yeah. growing up a growing up a NASCAR fan and 
we can talk about that uh, another time. You know, I, I love.